So we're going to discuss how to install WooCommerce and add wholesale pricing to your products. So I'm just starting here with a, um, a pretty vanilla WordPress installation. Um, we've just installed WordPress um, and we will now go ahead and set up WooCommerce. So I'm going to jump into the back end of the site here. And as you can see, it's um, just straight up WordPress. We haven't done anything to it. So we're going to first install WooCommerce. Um, WooCommerce is the, the dominant e-commerce platform on the web. Um, it's now running about 40% of the, uh, the internet's e-commerce based websites, um, according to builtwith.com. Um, and it's also, it's probably the easiest self-managed platform to get started with as well. So if you're looking for an e-commerce platform, I highly recommend checking out WooCommerce. Just installing the plugin here. And now I'll activate it. Now, as soon as you set up WooCommerce, um, it'll take you through this quick install process. I'll just fill in my details here. So I'm in Australia. Um, you can just put in your location for where your store is located. And let's install it. So they have a few um, standard payment options there. Um, you can go ahead and activate whatever you need there. For the purposes of this demo though, I'll just leave them deactivated. Um, let's put in some fake shipping costs there. Um, I'm also going to let it install the storefront theme. So uh, if you remember the back, uh, the front of the website looked pretty uh, plain. When you're installing WooCommerce, you get the option to install their, their built-in theme, which uh, makes it look a bit more store-like. Okay, so my store is now ready. I'm going to create a new product. I'll just call this a test product. The description of my product and I'll give it a price. So let's give it a hundred dollars. So that's, uh, that's our product created. And if we look at this on the front end of the site now, you can see um, we've got our, our new theme applied and we've got our test product. We can add that to the cart um, and everything's looking great. So now what we want to do is set up our free WooCommerce wholesale prices extension. Uh, and this is a free plugin that my company Woo uh, Wholesale Suite uh, creates. And you can just find that by looking for WooCommerce wholesale and clicking on install now. Once you activate that plugin, that adds some extra features to WooCommerce itself. So if we go back and look at our, our product edit screen again, before we only had a regular price field where we put in $100, but now what we can do is set also a wholesale price for this product. So if we wanted to sell this product to retail customers $100, uh, we might want to sell to wholesale customers at $50. And it's as simple as that. So now that we've got uh, our wholesale price set, all we need to do now is set up a user so that we can test um, doing wholesale orders as a wholesale customer. So I'll just set up a, a new wholesale customer. simple. Now the important part when you're setting up a new customer for your wholesale customers is to make sure their user role 
is set to wholesale customer. When you set the user role to wholesale customer, when they're logged into your website, they'll be able to see wholesale pricing rather than the regular retail pricing. So I'll go ahead and add that user to my account. So now I've got my admin account here and I've got a test user, a wholesale user here. So I'm going to log out of my admin account and I'm back at my store. So I'll just check, I don't have the admin bar at the top there. Uh, and let's log in with our wholesale customer. If we go and find the product that we just created earlier, we can see we have a test product here. The regular price of $100 is crossed out and we now have a new field here showing wholesale price at $50, which is what we set. And when you add that to the cart, you'll see that the price is added at the wholesale price. So all your customer needs to do now is check out and you can ship and order exactly as you normally would. And that's all that you need to do. Now you can rinse and repeat that whole same, that whole process. And um, if you've got an existing WooCommerce store, you can go ahead and download the free WooCommerce wholesale prices extension and uh, get that set up across all your existing products.